were specifically assigned to the design of two major office buildings in the blocks uh, between 33rd Street and, th and 30th Street. These two buildings are very large, yet at the same time they have a responsibility to connect to everything to the south, everything to the north, everything to the river, everything to the city. It began with the responsibility of creating buildings that are highly efficient from a dimensional point of view as office buildings in the New York market. What that means, if one can provide uninterrupted, flexible office space of a dimension of 45 feet from the core to the outside wall, all the way around the core, you will achieve perhaps the most efficient building in the New York City market. In doing that, one recognizes the fact that tall buildings are at their core, at their heart, are composed of a bundle of elevators, each of a series of banks, each of which go up to a different height. And so as the banks are dropping off, the whole core of the building is tapering back. Well, we simply allowed the buildings to taper back at the same time. And that's why you see the profile of the buildings that we have. It's this sort of leaning uh, gesture. Now, the relationship of two buildings is a tremendous opportunity because it's almost like one is creating a dance. One has the opportunity to set the two buildings in dialogue with each other, in a relationship with each other. And hopefully, as one moves around the building, that relationship is constantly changing. So the immediate uh, possibility struck us that we could take one of the slopes and face it towards the city and take another of the slopes of the other building and face it in the opposite direction, creating this sort of tension. But one building tends to gesture to the city, one gestures to the river.